Hi guys, how's it going? Matthew Tomato right here. Hope you're well. Thank you for tuning in and welcome back to some more European Universe Size 4. We are playing with Austria here in the recently, hopefully, hot fixed patch 1.23. And last time, yeah, we're still working. Ooh, Genoa. We still have an alliance with them, don't we? Yeah, they're still voting for us. Good. But Ferrara starting to slip here. Uh, they're slowly not voting for us for many different reasons here. Um, our opinion of them is actually pretty bad, but uh, yeah. Also, we just beat off the rebels that they uh, spawned there, so... Right, so we need to... Uh, we're still back in this um, sort of little stretch bit here where we're, we're trying to uh, trying to get rid of the um, uh, Reformation stuff. That's what we're trying to do with the hope that uh, the Reformation um, doesn't respawn and stuff like that. We're still trying to work out exactly whether the hotfix has worked or not and whether we can perhaps indeed save this game. We still have way too many heretic princes though and the problem is we can't actually do much about it. So at the moment, yeah, see look at that Ferrara slowly uh, slowly dropping here. He's a... Uh, territorial claims is actually a big problem. So... And they have a core here. I guess maybe I should give this province back to them. But I'd rather convert it to Catholic first. Can't though. It's annoying. Okay, well we still have plenty of votes anyway. Uh, so Farrar does decide to drop them. We still have a couple of secure votes there. Uh, which is okay. Truce of Lorraine has ended. Okay, um, let's bring back the guy from Brandenburg uh, and perhaps improve a few more relations with Albania. Secure that vote. Right, so at this point then... Let's see, I'd love to take some of these, but we are tech. Tech problems here. <coughs> so, uh, oh, Genoa's being beaten to a pulp over there. Um... Support for the government has expired. Okay. Uh, oh, really? We have to support the clergy, but it's the... Uh, it's the damn stability loss that's the problem. Uh, wow, the Pestatel of Vienna. So we gain 30 prestige and 50 legitimacy, which we don't need. Or gain the stability. Let's take that. Gee whiz. Uh, free stability. Protestant zealots. Are you kidding me? Please no. Let's say, uh, Palatinate. Yeah, let's bring on the guy from Ferrara here. Uh, you want some help with your, um, your rebels there? Ask for military access. Let's say. Go. Uh, Genoa wants military access. Sure. I'm going to go and uh, beat them up for him. <laughs> because otherwise the Palatinate will switch to Protestant and that'll be a, another heretic elector. There we go. And you've just gone to war as well. So. Um. No, uh, no actual. Sure. Uh, no actual modifier there with uh, the Palatinate for beating those rebels, so that's okay. Um, let the Rethermen call through. See, that could be good. They got troops here, actually. So we could actually blockade here, and that army would be stuck there. We could blockade here. So that'll be fun. Right, um, let's have a look at the votes here. Yeah, see, the Ferrara has now switched his vote. Uh, we didn't, did we max out relations with Brandenburg at all? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So, Ferrara, I'm going to try and improve some more relations with you, but uh, at the moment, not looking good. 
he's a Protestant there as well. So, uh, okay, so so far no more sense of reformation. So it looks like we're going to be all right so far. So many provinces being converted though. Like if we can get rid of some of these, Nassau, uh, it's a tough war, extremely tough war. Uh, let's take admin here, and that gives us a new uh, another group of ideas. Uh, so what do we want to take here? Well, it's probably going to be an admin one because obviously we have a diplo one here, and we have a military one going. Humanist might be good for the religious uh, tolerance of heretics, improve relations, tolerance of heathens. Idea cost is pretty good. Innovative. Hmm. This is a good one as well. I'm actually thinking about innovative here. Humanist would be so good though. Yeah, humanist. Let's go with that. Humanist and religious together. Powerful. Right. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, Lorraine declared war on Alsace. Uh, national unrest and yearly corruption for 10 years. Lovely. Always useful. What we got here? Uh, Albania wants an alliance. Absolutely. Well, see, I think uh, because of the, the war and stuff like that, the we had a truce there where we weren't allowed to uh, weren't allowed to get anything from them. So I'm tempted to go with Drive Back the Turk here. Yeah, let's take it. So I don't need to uh, don't need to fabricate any more flames here. Right. So who could we? Yeah, Memmingen, Brandenburg, I suppose. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and improve some relations there, just to keep that high to keep their vote. It'd be very good if we can keep their vote. Right. Uh, 151 yearly prestige could be nice. Uh, I think I'm just going to take the mercantilism here, though. Uh, let's just keep that. We could build some stuff. Uh, any useful spots for any marketplaces or anything like that? 105. I guess we could build 105. That might be quite good. Uh, we do have the access to... Um, I, thought it was, I thought we had plantations available. I think we do have it available, we just uh, don't have any provinces in which to build it. Uh, just looking at some of the manufactory here, is there any really strong... Yeah, that'll do. Because if we can get lots of manufactory going, then we might increase the chances of manufacturing spawning in our nation. Let's give the 023 there some uh, production bonuses as well. Get some good uh, good modifiers in some of these places. Memmingen and Circassia. Uh, Scotland has gone bankrupt. Okay. Uh, it's a shame. Right, yeah. We could really do with our ruler actually dying here. So we can get the... Uh, oh, the Palatins is actually voting for us. That's quite cool. Uh, maybe we should potentially... Yeah, let's go and uh, solidify that vote a little bit more, actually. That might be quite good. Right, so how is the heresy looking? Still bad. Yeah, so it's... Oh, uh, actually the, the Netherlands has switched to reformed. So we are going to have to attack them at some point. And obviously they're allied with England and Castile. Damn. Okay, that could be a problem. But if we can get rid of this one here, that would be a good, good move. So Nassau is the nation to kill here. Provence, Brunswick, and Liège. Um, the guy from Albania. Uh, is this Diplo? It sure is. Good. Enables galleon and early frigate. Right, maintain diplomat. Trier declared independence. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's make sure we get our papal sanction for increased taxes back. Are you a... No, you're a reformed nation. That's annoying. Um, so, Nassau over here. Uh, you have some zealots and stuff there. Provence won't join. I think we should go in for this war. Imperial Liberation. 
So Liège and Brunswick will join, but we could, let's say, let's make use of Ferrara. Declare war. And I'm just going to go straight for uh, Nassau here. Let's go. Well, Magdeburg is in some sort of war as well. Okay. Uh, unlawful territory from Switzerland. Jesus Christ, what have you done there, Switzerland? Um, we'll demand it anyway. Switzerland is a Catholic country. So if you could perhaps convert that to uh, reform to Protestant, yeah. This uh, reform center of reformation over here is nasty. I'd like the Netherlands to join the HRE. But like the actual nation, I'd like them to join. See, they could. Any chance? Maybe we should just improve some relations there. Let's do it. Right, so these guys are going to come around here. Right, so Ferrara is standing here. Okay, so that's a level two fort, level one. Um, you're not contributing that much to this siege, but still. Brunswick just insulted me. Uh, Commonwealth wants military access. Are you... really? Oh, Saxony's declared war as well, so the Commonwealth is involved anyway, right. So sure, the Commonwealth can come over here and come and trash up all these guys, that'd be great. That'd save me a hell of a job. Right, uh, let's get over here. Precite traditions. Mm, cannot be stopped. The Commandant is dead. Uh, that's annoying, he was a disciplined guy. Uh, we'll pick up the manpower modifier, I suppose. And let's go and convert that back. Looks like we're going to be beaten to it. Here we are. We're going to be contributing a Siege Pip General and 4K Cannons to that. Ooh! France took England's colony. <laughs> They're land-grabbing tendencies. It's great. Right. So obviously we're not leading this uh, this siege here. We're not actually leading it. So... Yeah, let's try and convince the Netherlands maybe to join the HRE. You're at war with France and Brittany. Oh, you're in the English colonial war. Right, okay. Right, won the siege of Nassau. Going over there. I'm going to try and lead them with their rebels if at all possible. Yeah, Commonwealth has come over here now. Denmark is now a feudal monarchy. Okay. Rebels broke Denmark. Okay. Bremen started war against... Um, against Brunswick as well. Wow, there's a lot of uh, a lot of crap going on over here. Any chance I can maybe separate piece some nations here and maybe try to force some religions? Uh, I'm not sure. Now, this, this province here is actually occupied by... Somebody else, isn't it? Yeah, Clev. Okay. So if we go to separate piece out some of these nations, like this. So who else is involved? Uh, Brunswick and Liège. Well, Brunswick is heretic. Liège is Catholic, so not bothered about that. But if we could force Brunswick to maybe switch, that'd be good. I'm not sure if we'd be able to do so, though. If I bring him the guy from the Palatinate here. Bavaria just insulted us. Okay. Uh, so if I wanted to sue for peace here. No, they're too big. Doesn't matter. Damn it. Okay, so in general here. That's what I want. 83%. Jesus Christ. Um, we don't actually have this siege either, so it's quite hard. This particular siege here we don't have. We don't have this province, but it's not a... Uh, ooh. Again, the trade efficiency guy. 
cheaper to employ as well. Um, what's two at three seventy eight? That's pretty good actually. Um, yeah, let's take him. Those extra diplo points can help us complete our influence ideas over here, which would be very nice. Ooh, my, my phone just went off, but it didn't. Okay, so the Commonwealth is here. He's freezer insulted us. Why is everybody insulting us? Really, Commonwealth? Okay, if you want to do that, that's fine. You, you go right ahead. You're right, so let's just try and rack up some war score here. The reason I'm standing there is so that when it clev pieces out, then uh, we can... Oh, diplomatic insult against Tuscany. Right, okay, because we have a truce with Tuscany. Yeah, not sure that'll last. I can say we could try to force religion on them. Um, right, let's get around here and set about, look at that, 78,000 troops standing on that province. Ooh, that's a long walk. Jesus. Uh, forget about that then. Might go down to Liège and do some sieging there as well, but I'll keep this army stood here just in case. With all them troops just standing there. Hands back Bavaria Munster. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we should go down here, although it looks like everyone's doing that, so... Yeah, go ahead and, uh, get standing there. Yeah, everybody seems to be going down there, so... We'll just sort of stand here and wait for someone to peace out. France lifted the embargo, okay. Ferrara just insulted us. Great! Absolute wanker. <laughs> Yeah, 17 heretic princes. Of course, we get rid of the Centre of Reformation. That'll be excellent. And there's still the one in the Netherlands to consider. Castile would join. Not bother about England, but Castile. Maybe Castile could get embroiled in a big war with France or something like that. That'd be great. Let's take the uh, the military tech then. And looking at the states of where the armies are, we could probably upgrade here. Let's go for the charge infantry. We'll cast iron cannon. Yeah, we're okay there. And I'm going to kick out this leader here. Yeah, we don't need to uh, be at full morale here. Excellent. Okay. We'll stand over here. Loot. Do whatever you can. Palmer was building a spy network. Okay. Right, so we've improved the relations with the Netherlands. Still a problem, but there we go. Uh, let's see... Really? You're able to convert all the way down there? What the hell? That's a problem. Um, Ferrara, Tuscany, Pisa. Yeah, see, these are all nations that we want to be declaring war with. Tuscany has a couple of allies, but we do have cleansing of heresy there. Savoy, also allied with Ferrara, but we have no CB. If the royal ties with Ferrara break, we might go in and attack them. Might be a good idea. Okay, they are sieging over this way. Let's get in over there and attack. So, Brunswick. Um, I really wish I could force religion, but we can't. Let's just take all your money. Get out of the war. I'm going to go scare Liege, unless they'd be willing to wipe peace. No, not quite. Uh, military access from Lubeck, sure, and Bremen, yeah, go ahead, so keep all the HRE princes a little bit happy. Go stand here, wait for the morale to get at the top here. Right, we're ready. Charge. 
Mamluk allows merchants access again. We're going to go in there and we're going to beat up that. And the Commonwealth might actually come in here and help, maybe? No? We have such a huge morale boost over there. Look at that. Absolutely sensational morale boost. Oh, really? Really? Can I stack wipe you here? I'd really love to. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Uh, Lorraine wants military access. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, who is... Oh, you've actually stolen some unlawful territory here. Barrois. Oh, you annexed... But really, Lorraine, you're getting a little bit too big for your, for your boots here. Right, so we should be able to separate piece out Liège now, I think, because they have no army. No, really? Wow. That's incredible. No, I'm still going to stand here. I don't care. Cleansing of heresy against Bavaria. Okay. Ally with Denmark. I think you recently switched as well, so that's annoying. Pretty sure they recently switched. Yeah, recently switched. Rat bikes. If we can get rid of this centre of reformation here, then that would get rid of all the Protestant. And that'd be a good start. To sorting this out. See, how come these are being converted? When there's already provinces. Is that really affecting that? My goodness. That is mad. We're going to have to deal with the Netherlands somehow. I don't want to bring Castile into a fight, though. Uh, they're good allies. I don't want to, like, break the alliance there. I might have to do something soon. Uh, to improve relations here... Actually, it might be worth uh, improving some relations with Genoa instead. I haven't been there for a while. France fabricating planes. Okay. You still won't white piece. No, I need you to stand there. Just stay there. Go after these little stacks. Lorraine. We can make some states here, actually. That might be a good idea. Venetia would be a great state. Um, so we still find most of this. I think this needs to be a state here. It's going to be expensive. 154. Too bad. Benedict. Why can't we call that? Oh, right. It's very expensive. Okay. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea, though, because that's going to rake in some money there for us. Let's get over here. Seriously. The age is being a very big pain. Right, now we can get them out of the war. There we go. Right, so we don't need to come over here now. And then you come back over this way. Right, Nassau. Any chance? No. It's because we don't have this fort. That's the problem. Half of the issue is we don't have the fort. So... I would like Saxony. Ah, but Saxony won't peace out because we occupied Mainz. And that's their war goal. Man looks to declare war against the Ottomans. Okay. <clears throat> Hejaz wants military access. Sure. Okay, so whilst that's kicking around then, uh, Bavaria. We'll be called into multiple wars. Yeah, Denmark and Ulm would join. Is Ulm... Heretic, yes you are. You'd be able to call in all your friends. Yeah, that's a toughie. Um, you'll be able to enforce religious unity there. I'd like to go in against Denmark, certainly. And Sweden is currently being... No, it was being integrated, but it was 100% liberty desire. So it won't join in a fight there. There's no easy wars here. It really isn't. Declaring against the Netherlands has got to be the big one, though, isn't it? Yeah, we need... Um, 
We need Castile to get involved in something. Maybe a war with... Yeah, see, it would be a while before it would be a war with France. Right, Alsace still exists. Good, okay. Wow, it's just so much rubbish here. Let's see, Arkin. Yeah, we need our ruler to die so that we can... Uh, ask get religious unity out of some of these people. How old is he? Forty nine. Okay, come on. T time for you to die. <laughs> yeah. So this might go on for quite a while here because obviously, um, hopefully, length of war will tip in our favour. But uh, Saxony unlikely to peace out anytime soon. Milan started war against Savoy. Okay. Just looking for some other options here. Ooh. Of course. Who are your allies? Pisa and Savoy. Because obviously you wouldn't join. Pisa. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, because we're in a war with you, so you can't join on this side. There's another massive stability hit. We don't have the admin to be able to really do all about it. No. It's a good opportunity, that, though. And we don't have... we don't have a CB here as well. Like cleansing of heresy or something over there. Maybe because we have the truce, we don't have it, but then. Olm, cancel military access, yeah. So there might be a couple of opportunities. Really? Interesting, okay. We still have a relatively positive relation with the Pope, so. 016, that is despicable. 20 heretic princes now. Madness, that really is. But if we can get rid of this centre, that'll be a good start. And then if our ruler dies, we can try and go around and ask people to convert back. In particular Saxony would be a good one. We have bad relations with them though. So how about we just improve some relations there and try and get them. Because if they have positive relations, then they're more likely to... Uh, Ooh, can we... It literally just said the religious zeal expired. Maybe we need to wait for the turn of the month. Yeah, let's go in here. Go convert that. And might be a good idea to increase the uh, autonomy there as well. Imperial Liberation against Arkan. Bremen has actually taken some land. Uh, let's bring in the guy from Genoa. You are Catholic, though, so I'm not actually complaining too much about that. Cleansing of heresy against Palmer. Really, Palmer? Are you serious? So you would take a religious unity enforcement right now. So you just converted to Protestant. There's no sense of reformation here, but you just converted to Protestant. Because you're an asshole. Right, we do have a truce, but we also have the uh, the castle's belly. So it's just never-ending crap here, really. Um, you better go and deal with those because you need the war score. All right, usury forgiven expired, so that was the uh, inflation reduction, and I'm going to pick it straight back up here. Savoy will see Piedmont to Milan. Okay. <sighs> Long ass war in the meantime. Are you seriously? Are you serious? Oh my god. There's not a lot we can do. There really is not a lot we can do. I think that the bug just caused too many problems here. Ooh. 
if France could get the Netherlands to break their alliance with Castile, then I could go in. That'd be great if they did. The bug has almost broke this playthrough, but uh, we'll carry on anyway. Let's see if we can uh, enforce some unity and stuff. Maybe there might be a, still a little bit of a chance. Like we could, we could get at least ten done, I suppose, with ten imperial authority. So we might be able to, uh, might be able to salvage something here. So it could be good to boost some stability here, but. Uh, yeah, admin is really lacking here. Really, a couple of rebels just rolled straight into our army. Hate you. You know what we should totally do? We should switch to Protestant ourselves and just kick ass. <laughs> That's what we should do. That'd be so funny if we did do that, though. Right, let's get our final province in the Venetian state cord there. So... That'll be good. Right. Uh, diplomatic. Yes. Let's take this. Uh, aggressive expansion impact. Ooh. Plus two missionary strength as well from our next uh, national idea. That's pretty good actually. So. Aggressive expansion impact is going to be very useful. Remen took a whole load of land there. Truce of Pisa has ended. But we don't have a Cassus Belly to go in here. Oh, we do! We just need to wait for the trick. Oh, you know what? We need to go in over there. we got to go in down there. Excelente! Plus 11 Papal Influence. Please. Are not all treated with Castile? Oh my god. I think we have to go in here. This is dangerous, but I think we've got to go in here. What is the current army count for... no. Uh, current army count for the Netherlands. 23,000 troops, okay. I think we'll go in here. Let's grab this army as well, let's bring them up. Okay, so in the next episode we're going to go declare war on the Netherlands with a view to trying to get them to force religion here. We just lost the CB as well, which is so annoying. But we're going to go in and we're going to declare this war. I think we have to. Because this will get rid of the Centre of Reformation for Reformed. Okay, so that's it for now then. Thanks for watching. This has been my son, Magnus Marto. Join me next time for more European Earth Size 4. And be sure to subscribe to follow the series. See you later, guys.